Hey everyone, welcome to Gallup Gardens. We have a pretty exciting announcement. If you follow us on Instagram, you already know what it is, but you are looking at the future of Gallup Gardens. We just bought 110 acres. All right, guys, we are super, super excited. The deers, the deers came. It did go deer. Yeah. Deer. So let's go, let's walk around. Let's look at it and show them around. Okay. So this is roughly the back of where the house will be. And I think we're kind of roughly where that brush pile is or that tree. Uh, I think we're gonna put a big, nice greenhouse. And then right behind Sterling there in that tree line, we're gonna have a really big pond dug. And we're gonna plant some orchards back in here and maybe a little vineyard. So let us know what kind of what kind of trees we should grow. I'm definitely wanting apples. So we're, we're kind of at the top here. Um, you look over there, that plowed field is all part of it that's going to be uh, planted in winter wheat. And you can't see over this way, but there's one, two, three ponds over there. And it almost goes all the way back to the road again. And then there's a, a big hay meadow over here that's over this bridge here. And this is um, this has been cut for hay for. I don't know, 10 years or more. Um, but I think we're going to put cows back on. Ball! Oh, the ball! <laughs> and, uh, but up, up in the front, here in a minute, we'll take you up there. And that's where we're looking at doing like goats, cooney coonies, or chickens, or, you know, some fun stuff like that. So, so if you look here, you can see the, the terracing. I think this was cotton fields back in the 30s and the 20s. Uh, permaculturists, you know, they'd call those swales today, used to uh, keep the water. So this is the front 10 acres, and this is going to be what we're, you know, where we live primarily and, and what we're going to use primarily. Uh, it's got this old house on it. Uh, we're going to have it looked at and see if we can move it, because we're probably going to build right here on this location. So if it's salvageable and we can move it, then we'll do that. Take it down to the studs, do like a guest house, or, or if you want to like intern at Gallup Gardens, you know, we got somewhere to put you up or something, you know, free labor. Um, but it's got the, you know, it's got the big pretty pecan trees and some big pretty oaks around. Um, over this swale here, this terrace, and, and over the next terrace in between the two is where we're thinking we're going to put the garden. Come on. I'm coming. Come on. Come on, Daddy. Come on. I'm coming. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of cut in here, and we're gonna build a retaining wall around out of stone. It'll look real pretty. And then you'll kind of have this step down. Now that that uh, different levels here. Yeah. And so then in here it's gonna be. Probably from here back, it's going to be raised beds, and then where all these trees are, we're going to clear a lot of that brush out, and that's going to be uh, little Mad's flower garden or butterfly garden, Daddy, kind of Daddy. little shade garden. It'll be real pretty. Wow, where'd you find that? <laughs> and uh, and then on the other half is going to be a market row garden. <laughs> And we'll grow tons more veggies there. And then further out, and just kind of following the slopes of the land, is going to be a market garden, flower <laughs> garden, for cut flowers. Um, you know, we've done a lot of... Oh, that's loud. We've done a lot of raised bed gardenings and uh, some no-till stuff. And certain vegetables just do not lend themselves well to the raised bed garden. I would argue that squash doesn't. It needs to be in the ground and covered. 
um, watermelons, you know, they like to spread <laughs> melons in general. There you go, buddy. Um, tomatoes even, you know, I think they would be better uh, with like a Florida weed system. No, you blow, blow it really hard. So, so we're gonna have best, the best of both worlds. We're gonna have our raised beds, we're gonna have our market garden, our rows, and then we're gonna have our cut flowers. And then here, all around this, is gonna be kind of a cottage core, cottagey theme, lots and lots of flowers. Some stone walking paths and then right over here where these big oaks are we're gonna clean out from under them finish mowing and it's gonna look like a real nice little park we might do a little orchard up in there we don't know yet you know put in the comments let us know what you think we should do we're open to ideas you know we're just kind of winging this you do it bud you got it blow hard It's all slow. Is that funny? Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> you two are silly. No! Daddy, oh. yeah? <laughs> uh huh. Nice barn needs a few repairs. We're going to work on that. Um, and that's got horse stables in it, and it's for stacking hay and storage in general, things like that. We're going to move one or two of these sheds that we can move. It's probably going to be like our, our cold storage or wash areas for the vegetables. And then we're looking at uh, you know some little pig pens and uh, some chicken tractors and a rabbit hutch and all the animals. We're going to have a whole petting zoo out here. So guys, stay with us. We're going to start like a whole new, uh, maybe a chapter or a channel or a, a sub-channel on the channel. I don't know what you call it. But we're starting from scratch. We're taking this land. We're going to cover it all in wood chips. Uh, we're going to build our raised beds on it. We're going to start our market grows, garden parts, and then we're going to start our the same thing with the cut flowers. And you get to see the whole thing from start to finish. So if you're wanting to do your own no dig, no till system, and you want to see how it works, you want to see how it works in Zone 7B, specifically Oklahoma with Johnson grass and how you fight that and, you know, win that fight, hopefully, and all that. So check it out. guys that's it hey stay with us and watch the process I mean it's gonna be a lifetime right of redoing everything and, and making it look right so it's gonna be good Thank you. check out this video this one that one one of those <laughs>